Hey, ahoy, 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 everyone. everybody, it's Friday. Oh my it goodness. It is Friday. Well, well you know, yeah, I, Friday with friends. I used to super look forward to Fridays because it was our D&D day and also our sh our um, our uh, photo show day. Yep. And now I don't have, we don't have D&D to look forward to on Fridays anymore. No, we it's Sundays. Days. Now it's Sundays. Um, but... We still well, have this. Well, it's basically any time we can awesome. play, right? Yeah, well, pretty much. <laughs> There's seven of us to coordinate <laughs> schedules. Well, we're happy to be here with you this morning. We have about 450,000 entries to today's challenge. I, we had so many entries. It was so fun to see. Like, we, um, like I know the, over the winter and everybody was busy with the holidays, and it seems like we're like back up to like full force. Building. People building. Yeah. Um, and we also have a new challenge uh, for you this week. It's one that everybody's been waiting for. And we've been kind of building up to it for a little while. So we're super excited to finally get to announce that. I'm going to drink some Old Bay. Okay. Mm. I think an Old Bay Tastes flavored. just like an Old Bay. What? Like <laughs> like drinking crab boil? Mmm, <laughs> broth. <laughs> like drinking seawater? Mmm. <laughs> bay water, I suppose. Although mm. I need I need a little bit more sugar in mine. Okay, no, well if you I'll don't... help you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you out with that, and you come up with. I can to be talk the one. About. I can be the one to vamp. Uh, so golly, well, we got a fun show. We got a lot of we got a lot of pictures today. Um, I did um, one for today with some help from Richard, and I'm really excited about it because I've been feeling very not so. I don't know, not so inspired lately. And for whatever reason, this really inspired me. And it came together quickly. Yeah, it came together It came together kind of quick, uh, which was nice. Yep. Um, so, yeah, anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a good day. And, I, mm -hmm. and actually, I wanted to... Oops. And I didn't... I'm sorry we didn't talk about this before, but I, oh. did, I did... I know. I did want to say something to everybody. Um, it's, this is maybe a little bit more serious than what we usually talk about, but... Okay. I did want to take a second just to talk uh, uh, to talk a little bit about mental health and your personal mental health. Like I know, like I have, I you know, I I am prone to depression and anxiety, and it has really played on me a lot lately, especially in the past like three months, like over the holidays and everything coming back up to now. And it was really, really difficult. And I reached out to some some friends here in the community, and they've been really, really helpful. Uh, with that and I just wanted to, to I just wanted to say to anybody out there who's having problems like that or anything like that stress anxiety stress, anxiety like we are here and we understand and you're not alone um so if you know yeah, if, so reach out speak up reach out the you know there's a lot of really amazing people here in the community uh there's us uh and I just you know I, I know that that's something that a lot of people um uh have been dealing with so i just wanted to say again you're not alone we're here for you it's a real thing and we're not you know we're not trying to ignore that it happens because it absolutely does and it's happening yeah to me. this is a real community and we're not just going to sign your yearbook and say don't change see you next year right <laughs> like, I, like i said to flynn yesterday like i don't know what's going on inside your head unless it comes out your mouth so right yeah so, so enough, talk enough said. talking about it is good Good, say good that. supportive friends, right? Uh, We're all friends here. Yeah. So anyway, but how great that we can all be here together and build know. together and talk together and and have a good time, right? So, yep. Woohoo! All right. Mm. Oh well, I wanted to mention something too. I just um, wanted to say, if you like oh. Kevin Hinkle's art. Go check him out. He's making cool, awesome stuff. And it would be, um, I bet he would appreciate your support. He's so talented. Yes, he really, really is. So um, go Kevin Hinkle. So, um, okay, so pins. Really? It's okay, and time. then in a few minutes, we'll we'll um, do the roll call. We'll say hi to everyone. Oh, no, yeah. Let's, you want to do that? Let's do that now. Let's, say, let's see all, let's, who all is here. Because it's always, by now, we've usually... A lot of people. People have logged in. There you go. Lobbed on. Lobbed on, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Albert Lee is here. Alexander23. Aubrey Kovach. Hi, Aubrey. Um, Brickanista is here. Brickman Mosaics Art. Brickworm. Uh, Chris, Chris Jigsaw2 Chalice. 
Okay, I really hope that you're talking about a puzzle and not the movie. Oh, <laughs> very, very <laughs> different. Very different. Um, Darren Siegfried is here. David Wilkie, how's it going? Uh, Fabby Fan MKE. Gary Mullane is here from Ireland, I believe, if I remember correctly. Who? Hooded One. John Luttrell. Uh, Christopher oh, Coster is see... here. Hey, Christopher. Did what? I see Griebling Wizard in there? Uh, I I saw him for a moment. He was Hi. there for a moment. Hi, Griebling Wizard. <laughs> Uh, Christopher Cotter is here, Marilyn Parmley and the Parmleys, ahoy hoy Parmleys. Matthew Builds Bricks is here, hey Matthew, how's it going? Mini Fig Chick. Mini Fig Chick, Monica Berry, Patrick Wismer, Remy Baker, Rob Ketcherside, oh, somebody just popped in and I don't know where it happened. Um, Monica Berry, Remy, Remy Baker, Rob Ketcherside, Sarah Silverman is here, hi Sarah, good to see you. Uh, the Brick Orphanage, the Hornburgers are here, ahoy hoy Hornburgers. The Jammy Bricker uh, is here. Wilfred Bonsoir. That sounds like a party, doesn't it? The Jammy Bricker. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Zach Highmark is here. How's it going, Zach? Good to see you. And, of course, Zerakino. Hi, Kim. Kim. Even though her name, for whatever reason, dropped off the list. Oh, there it is. All right. I know she's here. And I'm going to guess that the, the... Yes, Rob Zaccardi. Maybe that's who popped in. And Could I be. was surprised at. Hi, Zaccardi's Lana. Elena and Vanessa and Rob, how's it going? They just arrived at the door. I know, knock, knock. All right. Well, fun. I always love, that's always one of my love saying hi to everybody. Well, you know what? It always makes me think of um, of Romper Room. I do, too. We need a magic she had the mirror. mirror. We need the magic mirror. I see. She was really I see Mini Fig <laughs> Chick. Hey, Dan Bakken is here. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. How's it going? Um, I, uh... Wait, oh, so wait, I was going to say something about uh, something that I forgot. Well, I don't know. It well, wasn't that important. While Flynn figures that out, I'm going to show you my pin for the day. I haven't worn Oswald in a while, so here is very, oh, there's his other eye, cheerful Oswald. Yay, Holly's here, too. Hey, awesome. Holly. Awesome. It a, it's a good day, y'all. Um, all right, and I'm wearing, you know, I'm fond of figment pins, and I have this great figment pin, and now I've got several of these that are like, a license plate shape with different parts of figment like in close-up so that nice yes. figment these kooky so eyes fun one. i know you know when holly showed up i was thinking it's like we're all hanging out in a cafe together and someday i think someday looking way out there i think why why isn't there a lego cafe shouldn't there be a <laughs> lego cafe you just go there build your stuff yeah if you bring your own stuff yeah, sure. You I don't think I want to use the Lego that a bunch of other people used and spilled coffee on and, you know, like... No, just <laughs> it's like a, a building hangout, but you get coffee and snacks. Indeed. Well, here we go. All right. Cheers, mm. everybody. Sip of coffee. Maybe I'll take my time with this. It's a giant-sized cup. I know, mine too. I should probably, like, take it back a little bit. Um, well, I'm surrounded by 3D prints these days. Mm. Oh my! It's the skull that I made. Yes, and I he's did, got a beard. He's got. He like does. A... <laughs> he's got a little fuzzy beard. Oh, and I did 3D print this awesome three. So this is a a miniature actually from D and D that I enlarged, and it's a chimera, and I printed it in this awesome. Is that um, a snake tail? Copper. Yeah. He's well. He's got like a funky tail and. A lion body and ram's head and anyway yeah you can see um it's got a lot of detail in it that you can't maybe necessarily see here in the picture but yeah sorry the focusing is trying to go on there our we faces. go so he's pretty cool though and it's pretty cool on enlarging yet so there you go but now i feel like i finally have it all dialed in and i'm working on a special tricky bricks thing Oh, yeah. That we're going to be able to send to people. So I'm really Great. excited. I'm finally at the point where I feel like the quality is good enough. It has to pass my stringent quality yeah. control standards. So so we've been holding we've been holding a couple of shipments here um, until we can include these cool things in them, right? Yes, and now we can. And I'm so excited. But, um, so that's what this weekend is going to be, printing things to send uh, to send in packages. So okay. we're excited about that. A bit of matter hacking. Um, yeah, look, I've got all the, the script for today. Oh, you know what? What? I think it might be uh, time for one of our features. Uh -oh. It's 
It's the thing from the crypt. Brought to you by Angela. Brought to you by Angela. Now, today, you know what was funny? I was thinking, like, today I have books. And I was thinking about how our things from the crypt are, like, records and books and toys yep. from long ago. Like, things that people, like, you know, books? A what? A book? A I real know, life I, book? I remember books. Um, okay, I remember so... carrying so many books in my backpack. It's yes. like some of my best exercise as a kid. So I've collected a lot of old books, and I have two here that are that are favorites. I've got um, so this one, which is called Black Maria. Is that Charles Adams? And it's Charles Adams, and it's all vintage. Oh, there's the Adams family Adams right family there. Adams family comics from the newspaper, and I think this is. Right, so see. is she a character we're not familiar with from the family? Who? Black Maria. No. Uh, so Black Maria is a joke. You can see that they are inside of a police car, in the back of a police car. And back in the day, they used to call police cars Black Mariahs. Oh, the really? Name of it. Yes. Oh. It was called the, a Black Mariah. The, the paddy wagon. Yeah, the paddy wagon, exactly. And so now you can see... Um, what they you were see arrested they're, for they're, being they're too arrested cool. and then on the back they're driving away in the black Murray or black Mariah with a um, with the police in the back <laughs> there you go but there's what could be more hilarious than switching places and there's so there's lots of Adams family um, comics in here but there's also ones that um, he <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, there's also ones that sure, are that there's cool. also ones that are not um, that are not Adam's family. So you can see ones like... He's clearing boulders from his yard. <laughs> somebody's like pulling it Give back Give me that. Down. Yeah. So anyway, this is a cool... This was fun and it's great. I love Charles Adams. This stuff is so cool. And I, uh, 1960. So there you go. Before before we were even born. Um, the other one I have... And now, I from love this one. from a similar period. This was 60s, right? So this would have been, I think... Let's see what let's see what this one is. This is 1965. All right. This is now. This is more interesting. Um, this one. The monsters in the great camera caper. Yeah. So this is. Uh, oh, uh, there's poor homely Marilyn. Yeah, uh, I know. It's just, <laughs> she's. Uh, it's, a, it's a. It's a shame. She's so ugly. Well, what's really cool? So they used to make novelization books out of popular TV shows, and this was not the only one in this series. There were more, but what I want to show you is the awesome inner cover illustration of the Munsters' house, thirteen thirteen Mockingbird Lane. You can see that it's a great illustration. All right. Yeah, the great sort of hybrid gambrel roof. Yeah, and then there are um, illustrations on the inside. In 24-point type. Yeah, yeah, it's, the type is huge, because, of course, it was for kids. Um, but there are... Oh, I'm trying to find a good illustration. There's some really um, silly... Oh, yeah, here's a good well, one. Well, I love that they chose green as their one color. Yeah, so this is, like, one color printing. Well, two color printing, right? Very cool. So there you go. Thing from the crypt. These things are actually from the crypt today. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so there you go. Thing from the crypt. Monsters. Adam's family. Spooky. Go figure. There you go. All right. You your mock this week is not spooky. It is not spooky at all. What was first, so. monsters or Adam's family? You know what? I don't know. I bet the drawings of the Adams family were first. Yeah, the draw yeah, definitely the Adams family drawings were first. TV shows, I don't know. They were on at the same time. I don't I feel like Adams family was earlier. I don't remember any color Adams family and there were color monsters, right? Or was yeah, that no, just they a never movie? did. They never did um they never did color Adams family. It's true. They never did that. Um was a manga before it was a series. Well, okay, so it wasn't exactly a comic book. It was illustrations in the newspaper. So Charles Adams used to do uh, a one-frame uh, comic in the paper, and that's why all of these little, you know, like all the things in here are all just one-panel comics, right? Like, they're, they're all just, uh, you know, and they all have, like, weird stuff going oh, ev on. Evidently, um... The postman of the Adams family is very concerned. <laughs> um, 
Jamie Bricker says, I had a little toy film viewer of the Munsters that I looked at in my closet. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Like, it would like a, like a, um, like, would it play a loop? Yeah. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. All I right. used to have a little loop projector, too. Oh, yeah, well, then, and well, then there was the, um, the, sorry, the, I just had it on the show. <laughs> Why am I not? This oh, thing. Oh, the Viewmaster. Thank you, the Viewmaster. Wow, y'all. Uh, the Viewmaster, there was actually a Viewmaster projector that you could, that you could do. Oh, that's cool. Well, okay, so we have some Lego news. There is a little bit of Lego news. Um, <laughs> RKO Radio Tower. Um, so, and we are on Brothers Brick, of course, for our news. And thanks, Brothers thanks, Brick. Thanks, Brothers Brick. And, yes, so they have, uh, well, first of all, yesterday was International Lego Day. Who knew? Well, actually, lots of people knew, but that's the thing. I, um, I, I Legoed. You did. I did. You did. I did, too. Um, and, okay, so we've got, uh, this is the next, there's going to be a Porsche 911 Turbo and 911 Targa. So I don't understand exactly what that means as far as, like, if there's two models or what, or maybe that's, i got to say, I'm not, well, like, nice super into car. car. Photographed like a car commercial. Definitely aimed towards, um, I feel like it's aimed towards. Looks like we're buffering right now. There's some, no. I can see that there's some, some. True. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't have any warnings here. I'm just gonna. Yeah, talk like I mean, I can, can sit me. chat. Oh, Christopher Coster says we're back. Okay, well, I'm still seeing some. I'm seeing some funny, weird numbers. Some funny, weird numbers here. Hey, Will Letchworth. <laughs> we're having some. I think it's buffering. Letchworth. Oh, Letchworth. Oh, I'm sorry. Let I didn't look close. Let I'm like not sure. I'm sorry. You know what? I I maybe spelled it wrong. I I read it wrong all this time. I think you're right. Could be. Uh oh, now gone. Everyone, turn your Wi-Fi off. Wait. So we're just noodling until until things come back. Okay. But yeah, it looks like we're back now. Here we've got high tech computer graphics going on here. Should we? I don't <laughs> okay. think. Okay. Everyone says we're back. Oh, Ooh. good. All right. Wow. We it were, was the computer um, graphics that did it. Yeah, I think so. I think it was those fancy graphics. Um, yeah, it's 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 the internet. I don't know. Yeah, the Porsche, the Porsche broke the internet absolutely because it was so exciting. Nice curves on that thing. Yeah. Well, I can't figure out the headlights are really posh too. Yeah, they're, the they're headlights. Just we can go back. We can go back over that because we were kind of in the middle. Yeah, of Yeah, look at, at those it. headlights on an angle there. That's it nice. is. It is Letchworth. You were right, and I've Yay. been saying it wrong this whole time. For shame. Sorry, everybody. We learn. Well, you know, again, this is so like. All of the letters. And you know what? I'm not entirely convinced that I don't have a little bit of dyslexia. Really? I. It's true, because I type things often backwards and have to go fix them. I don't know why. It's really weird. Maybe I'm like... It's very strange. Anyway. Flipped bit. <laughs> Flipped Little gamma bits. ray comes in, flips a bit. <laughs> exactly. So here well, is Well, so we the, got um, that one. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have this one. Nice interior using, um, uh, Palisades bricks for the leather. Ooh, yeah, well, that's been very popular. I think, um, I know, uh, um, on his pedal car that, yeah. uh, Jake Sadovich used that. Yeah. Is that a grill for the rear view mirror? I can't tell there. It looks like a silver grill. It's I, Well, I love whatever this little, so the, it's a convertible little bit right here is awesome. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice little car. Now, again, not really our thing, but I appreciate its awesomeness. Wow, that's oh, and of course very they... large. <laughs> well, so is that Photoshop of the model with an actual... Oh, I see. That's yeah. two versions of the model. The the uh, Oh, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, the, both of the tar Targa and Turbo together in a, in, a, in a scale showroom. So this one says, customers who order the set through the VIP program will receive a bonus pack of Porsche themed freebies, including a Lego Porsche card wallet, four art prints, and a certificate of awesomeness. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at the, um, I like the light fixture they put in above the cars there. It's kind of like the ones on Lego Masters, right? Just the, the Lego tubes sticking down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and um, uh, Hooded One says that uh, I believe there are some new pieces used for the curves. Very cool. Oh, cool. Very cool. And then and uh, Christopher Cox says, and the indicators, I think that's the first time that piece is in trans orange. Wow. 
Very fancy. Oh, yeah, so there's a picture of all the little doodads. The things you get. So it's 150 bucks, y'all. Uh, that is, yeah. For a car, that's probably, I mean, I don't know. I don't track cars, but that seems like a reasonably priced Lego set there, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not sure. It's not a $600 car. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, we've done all of our features. It's now it's time for the big shoe with all of our with all of our things here. I'm, very See, I'm, ima I'm imagining a giant boot just dropping on the table right here. A really big shoe. Sort of like a, a Monty Python. Yeah, at sure. The end of Monty Python, the giant foot. Oh, it squishes everything. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see. We are, it's time for our challenge slideshow. This so, was a fun challenge here. Very, yeah. very artsy, sculptor, sculpture y. Yeah, we were so, we, we've been trying, we've been doing some crowdsourced, <laughs> we've been doing crowdsourced challenges. And this last one, I believe, was from P.T. McEwen, Nothing But Nature. Yeah, um, P.T. McEwen and, has made a bunch of really cool suggestions. Yeah, so I'm really excited about uh, about this one. So, and we've had them, like we were saying, the most people we've had in a little while, we had like 32 uh, different people entered, which is very exciting. Um, now, I know there's a couple of videos. <laughs> I got, um, I got mm -hmm. Brickanese's video. Christopher, I'm sorry I did not have time to load up your video. Just to let you know, um, Always send anything related to the challenge. Please do send to challengephotos at trickybricks.com. Because if you send them to my email, I might not, like my Flynn at trickybricks.com, yeah. I might not see it in time for the show because I like there's a lot that goes into putting this now the, together in the mornings. And Maraid looks at the challenge photos all at once. Yeah, right? and Maraid looks at challenge photos and not where mine, uh, where mine is. So but we can go. show that maybe Monday, that yeah. video. Yeah, absolutely. Or not Monday. Because we're not oh, here. Oh, not Monday. Because <laughs> you know about our new schedule, right, everybody? New schedule um, is Mondays on Twitch at 2 p.m. And it's a build and chill. We're calling it now. A build and chill. And then Wednesday, Friday, Sunday here on our same regular, same back oh, time, same back building channel. was so rigorous. I need to chill out from that. I know. <laughs> okay, so let's take a... Look at what we got here. All right, so this was called the Nothing But Nature Challenge, uh, also known as All Flora, No Fauna. So you were restricted to just things from nature. All right, so just things from nature, but no animals, only plants, like rocks were allowed, like that kind of thing. Now, do I see some some lerps in here so I, I see lerps so this is little, from little Ale ugly rock pieces alexander 23 this is called this uh the methuselah cypress tree this is a cypress tree native to my state of north carolina this is actually one in real life called the methuselah cypress tree that is over 1600 years old <laughs> it is one of the oldest trees on earth very cool i always love when That's we get so a cool. sort of like educational moment with these builds um, you know who you know who was always really good for that um, was the Lego vet. She yeah. always had amazing like educational. And we miss you, Lego vet. If you're watching this not live, we miss you. I know she's been very very busy with school and such. Um, and it was so sweet. But she um, she actually like emailed me and was like, I'm not going to be able to come for a little while, so I'm sorry. But oh. I love you guys, which was awesome. Um, anyway, go ahead. I love this shot. Yeah, I, this is a great. I love this one from from down below. I love the trunk of the tree. It's well, I've really seen great. pictures. I don't know that I've seen this particular one, but I've seen pictures of these ancient trees with just like they're just oh, tanks, you know, yeah. on, their, on their trunk. And I like what he did with the roots the, coming out. I was just going to say meandering. that. I really like the meandering roots and the little flowers oh, bring some. Same word. Not, I copied you. <laughs> I knew I heard it. Um, I, um, I, I, yeah, I just really, I really like uh, the flow of that. And then I think the flowers bring some, um, so a nice pop of color to keep it all from being too green and brown. Green and brown. And I see my very most coveted, well, not it's not the most coveted, but is one of my very, very coveted pieces. Is it that that tree trunk? It's that tree trunk. Oh, my it's goodness, so cool. I want to put trunk. like. 
I want to put Squeaky Squad in there. Or something. <laughs> I know the Squeaky Squad hideout. That's like the entrance. I think I've um... <laughs> I've got hamsters on the brain because I saw a video today of someone who had made um, a Saturn V rocket hamster thing, like a habit trail, and he goes up the ramp, and then it he's got mazes on the inside. All these levels, he takes off the rocket. Oh and, my goodness! Yeah, it was hamster heaven. All right. Oh. He was a hamster nut. That was good work, Alex. All right, this is from Amper Up. I love Amper Up always has these very, like, um, uh, cryptic titles to her stuff. And I, I always, I, I love that. This one is just called A Mysterious Remnant is the name of this. <laughs> um, it's a great word. This is so lovely. I love, well, I love the, I love the mix of color, like the colors. And then we get that pink flower and at the top, those dark blue sprouts um, with the little, uh, with, you know, the ones that curl up at the end. Yeah. And then the other three leafed sprouts sticking out of it. I think this is, I think this is great. It's like a pretty little song with bluebirds singing on top of it, right? Just those little pops of, of um, pink and yellow and all that in it. Yeah. I think it, it's really lovely. And and in both these pieces, the last one, uh, Alex's and this one, um, asymmetry is really lovely. Yes. Yeah, I really like <clears> that. <throat> Lots of levels in this one. Oh, it looks great from above, too. Yeah, Very you see the nice. water more, right? Yeah, well, and, and oh, that's right. That is, yeah, you can see the water more. So that's the thing, I think, about um, especially like a challenge like this. Um, because we think nature, we automatically think green, right? Like, that's the first thing we think of is, yep. like, green. And so um, to be able to, like, break out of that a little bit and add some little spots of color that help break that up, I think it's really it's really nice. Well, two different colors of green leaves there and the yellow one as well. Oh, it's black, not blue. I see. The little three sprout that's sticking out um, horizontally oh, is, the, yeah. is black, right? Really pretty, Amper Up. Thank you so much. Whoa, Lighting. what? This is from um, Avernus Workshop. Bioluminescent waves along the California coastline. It's a thing. Every few years, these glowing waves appear in the spring, and last spring was especially luminescent due to fewer people being at the beach. Also known as red tide, the glow is a defense mechanism triggered when phytoplankton are agitated, meant to attract a predator to the creature disturbing or trying to consume it. Wow, more education. Yeah, don't go hanging out at the beach at red tide so much. This Get your photos and go. It's also stinky, right? Yep. This is That's so really lovely. beautiful. I am so so in love with this. Yeah, the wave is so pretty, and the blue is is like that that bio bioluminescent blue, and then with the clear skin <coughs> foam on it. Yeah, I re and it's just oh god, there's just, I'm so much to love about this right now. And I haven't seen fro what we call frog bricks used for um used for like wet sand or dunes before. Yeah, oh yeah, that's really smart. Hey, Jack England is here. How's it going? Uh yeah, it's just like the colors, the lighting, it's all just it's all gorgeous. I really really love. And it even looks beautiful without the lighting, but yeah. Know, the lighting really oh look oh, and there's the nice. real the real deal again more education lots of science education in this one nature yeah. science education but th yeah this is just i gotta go back here and look at this again because i'm just so impressed really nice remy love it it's david attenborough of the bricks indeed okay so this is brickanista <whistles> a wow. mountain waterfall scene um there's a there's a short video. Yes, we've got that. Um, uh, where I hope the lights from the Duplo lighted brick behind the waterfall can be seen. Kovach for the lighting idea. So if you look, oh, well, first of all, let's talk about the build. So quite seen yet. Like mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of waterfall treatments. It's it's beautiful, and I love the curves. Yeah, the this. whole curving front is really nice. Yeah, this this shape is just lovely and really really breaks the box. I. I love it. It's the, beautiful. The contrasting foliage. I think the little teeny pinnacle with the snow on it on the right gives the whole thing a lot larger scale. Like that seems far away to me. Yeah, it's yeah, really, uh, just really beautiful. And I do have this video, so let's see if I can get it. 
where we can see it. Everybody give me just one second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And there we go. I think I can. There we go. All right. Here is, and here's the video. And you can see that lighter blue. Uh, oh, yeah. Right in the middle in there. The middle there is the, is the lighted brick. Very nice. So cool. You know, it was like when I was um, looking at this, um, when I was looking at this, I was thinking about um, how interesting it would be to do a waterfall with running lights behind it that made it look like the water was raining down. It, I mean, it kind yep. of kind of makes me think of um, they had those waterfall machines that you could get at like um, Spencer Gifts. Yeah, it's like the digital waterfall. Well, at um, at Bricks Cascade, we saw someone do a waterfall on a on a treadmill when the treadmill was amazing right well this um this reminds me of brickmaster amy saying that um when you're done there shouldn't be a brick out of place there's not one pixel wasted right these piece. are it, it's all very purposeful and clean and i really yeah i love it awesome thanks brickanista Ooh, very colorful i see purple leaves and you know i love those um, so this is from brickman mosaics art oh good he turned something in awesome cool. brickman um, abandoned Aztec temple deep in the Oregon forest. <laughs> uh, uh, it says, in the, deep in the Oregon forest, there is abandoned Aztec temple covered in plants and trees. Eerie noises come from the inside of the botanical covered area, so beware. You know, I've heard tales of those, of those Oregonian Aztecs. Yes, it's a thing. <laughs> you gotta go back a few years. Oh, oh there it is yay, from above. it's hidden. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love the hidden. I love the combination of um, of different types of leaves because, you know, I'm a big fan of those branch, you know, the branch pieces. And I always love when, and I especially love those little vines with the spikes on them. Now, I have this idea that if you were a little figure down on the level of that mushroom. Hey, Aquamike TV. You'd be seeing in the front of this temple, would you? Yes. Right? There's a there's a spider on the front mm -hmm. with that one branch, and then there's the adventurous hidden spider web on the inside. Very nice. And you know, of course, another one of my, uh, several of my favorite pieces are in here. Spider web, spider, and the, the red and white polka dotted mushroom. Yep. That's like one of my ultimate favorites. Well, very the pops cool. of color in this really elevated, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, Brickman. Oh, and there's another one down there's a pumpkin. Very nice. Lots of good, uh, lots of good pieces here. Oh, we got an extra. Another, and and there's of a course, treasure. there's treasure. You can't. Get, there has to be treasure in the temple. There has to be treasure. Okay, so this is wow. from Brickworm, Orchid or Onion or Oddish. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and it says, "Dear Richard, Oddish is a Pokemon." Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> because, because of course you knew that. Uh, yes, um, it says um, while you this. You didn't know. I that. did know that. Actually. Really? Yes, my Pokemon osmosis. Um, this is while this was a render. Every piece here is completely available, just not all in my co my collection. Wow, Very it's so cool. pretty. Yeah, it's great. I really, really like it a lot. Oh, Ooh. there it is in purple. Very nice. Yeah, I, I like the wraparound of the gold leaves to be that sort of dried part you always see at the base uh -huh. of the green. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really... Oh, and here they're yellow. This is someone who's seen bulbs before. That's a red onion. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very, very nice. I'm getting hungry now. I know. Well, stop. Whoa! Stop being hungry. All right. Um, I know who this is from, even though for some reason... Well, we saw this one come in, right? Well, I know who this one, who this is one from because I saw it yesterday, um, and it looks like but we've skipped a little bit. But this is from Dave Robinson. Hi, Dave. This is an amazing, beautiful cactus. I think he did such a great job on this. I love the the grass for the the spikes. I love the pot with the gravel in it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah the pot with the grab or the the little wood thing, and he stayed he stayed in, um because he stayed in the theme because that's a wooden yeah it's a wooden box, 
with the gravel and then yeah the cactus and i love that flower is just like really really nice awesome yeah nice compound curves going on there yeah there's just there's lots of lots of good in here very very cool nice it makes me want to see a whole cactus garden dave i think you need to do a whole garden of cactus this is the cactus you're looking for all right <laughs> okay, that is one of the otter mashups I've ever heard. Sorry. Um, all right, there you go. Dave, excellent. I just got to make sure that we're not here. Here we go. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Okay, this is from Chief Brick Geek. This is Grandmother Cedar and the Seven Grandfathers. The... Oh, good. Thank you for putting it here phonetically. Um, Anishinaabe. 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 Right? Yes. It, the Anishinaabe teachings is this is the grandmother cedar, a.k.a. the tree of life, with the seven grandfathers. The seven grandfathers are represented by the stones and stand for wisdom, love, respect, bravery, honesty, humility, truth, Doc, happy, and dopey. I'm kidding. No, I added those, those last, last ones. On. Sorry, three. I couldn't help it. Were they um, grandfathers? <laughs> no, but there were seven I of them. I think they were bachelors. Um, this is um, so. This is his representation in Lego form: the light and the energy of the tree of life, and the seven grandfather teachings of which uh, is what I choose to follow with my daily life. Meg, so, so a really personal Meg piece. Wichaka. Thanks, Bill Barton. That is beautiful. This is just. Um, Thank you, Bill Barton, for following. So okay, thank you. So I have to. I'm wondering if you're on right now. I'm wondering. Oh, oh how cool! Oh, a moonlit night. Um, what I'm wondering is, did you assemble the flowers onto the branches before putting? Pardon me, the branches onto the brown, larger branches of the tree, or did you have many collapses? Because I've had many collapses when trying oh, to do things like this. This is so, That's so lovely pretty down there. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I'm really, really, um, I'm really. I mean, I got to go back here. He said it's about fifty-fifty. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> This is one you're you're not going to you're not going to roll this across the entire convention center without having to do some rebuilding, right? No, but I love it's on the on the lazy susan so you can turn yeah. it around and get in the, you know. Oh, Moto's here. Hey, awesome. Moto. So Moto says so like all the builds are world class now. Yes, because we have and again, I know we say this a lot, but I was just talking about it on I was on the Beyond the Brick TV quarantine cast on Tuesday and uh, they were asking me about the community here and I was just talking you know I was talking up how we've watched so many people's building skills grow over the past nine months and like how incredible yeah. everything has gotten so well it's almost like I think there's something to this positivity and lifting each other up thing right we're supporting each other to become better builders and it's like we have this just I don't know, like summer camp or or like on, <laughs> ongoing camp. workshop kind of like a um, well, like us. You don't hear this word used very much, but like a salon, right? We're all sharing ideas. Well, this is well, this is just lovely. Yeah, right. I like all the all the mixed up slopes, adding variation in color. Okay, so this is from Chris Chalice, and he says, Just simple rocky outcrop with some basic vegetation. Thanks, everybody, for all the good wishes. I'm feeling much better, and I've been for a walk. And if all goes well, hopefully back to work next week. Oh, awesome. That's great. Chris Chalice, Chris Chalice. I'm so glad to hear it. And I, I got to thank you so much for participating, even as you've been not well not so, not feeling well at um, all um i we appreciate you um you doing this this is great i love the green whips for the yeah. vines i didn't even know i know i need like 200 green whips now yeah um it's really 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 good those, yeah like, those whips are really well it gives you that thin line that you don't see a lot of places in lego i know minifig chick whips come in green i know i need <laughs> 50 of them now no actually minifig chick this is a render yeah, that's in this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is really really great. Well, I have to say, I think well, Marilyn Parmley says, "Oh, there's 50 people in here. It must be Logan Cookie time." <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. 
<laughs> but we all know that we all know the real reason why people come here. <laughs> Ooh, we've got little pieces today, so I can give them lots of them. Hey, Rick Brickham is here. How's it going? Um, so everybody, it's going to be it's time for a to take a pause. That refreshes. In our slideshow, the pause that refreshes everybody. It's time for our special guest. Hey, and Big Screen Bird uh -oh. is here. Hey, Big Screen Bird. Whoa, Look who's here to greet you to the stream. Hi. It's Logan. Hi, Logan. Hi, buddy. I think he was sleepy. Maybe. Hi. It took him a second, right? There you go. Usually he... Oh, wow, that's a, that's a that's super a big, loud one. one. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's your sound of happiness. Wow, those are some loud right? cookies. Okay, that's can you, awesome. Can you catch one? Here's the last one. All right. Here we go. Ready? Good boy! Yay! <laughs> what a good boy, Logan. He was so good. Of course I caught the cookie. I know, it's a cookie. Of course I caught it. <laughs> Yay, Logan cookie time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, I think he keeps tally and he knows he didn't get quite as much that time. Okay, they were little. he got an extra one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, it's so great to see you back, uh, Big Screen Bird. It's been a little while. So glad to, to see you again. Um, let's go back to the slides, shall All right. we? All right, so we uh, we finished up with Chris Chalice, and now this I believe, flipping this over, is from Dan from Dan Bakken. This hey, is our, Dan. our good buddy Dan, also known as Tio Brick on uh, Instagram. And if you're not following him, please do follow him. Another really uh, really dear friend and a, and um, somebody who's. I, so two of my two of my very dear friends, Johnny Cat and Dan, are both here in the stream, and they they didn't do any building until they started watching our show, and I'm just mm -hmm. so thrilled that they're both here and they both um you know are are into the hobby now. Well, so actually, Dan had an epic photo shoot at our house. You did it's right true. a, a yes. while back, where he took mini figures um and put them in all different adventures places where he could find to put them. Well, I love so, like well, let, well, let me all do the way from the fabric in the back, you know, that adds to it. What's going I on? I just wanted to read the the description. So it's in a new hope. It is a dead, barren world and has been for centuries. Nothing can give this planet hope. Nothing but nature. Here among the vast wastes is the first rebirth of plant life with the potential to grow, thrive, and perhaps change the fate of the entire planet. Yay! What a wonderful what a wonderful little description. I love that. Super cheerful. Again, griebling, it, lots it, of griebling here, and the asymmetry with the plants, right? Well, not only that, the depth of field in the photograph, um, you get the, you know, you get the distance on it, makes and, it all seem much bigger. Yes, and I love that the the gray in the front, and then the the tan in the center with the brown in the back, and then it really, really shows off that green sprout coming up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just that's really the focus. You've almost got like a vanishing point perspective on the green sprout there. And and no surprise that um, uh, he used a Star Wars reference. Yeah. <laughs> you have, you'd have to look a long way to find someone who's nicer and more talented than... Tio Bricks. It's true. Oh, and, so, and look, see, Marilyn was right. Now there's only 48 viewers. Did yeah, Logan, Logan cookie, cookie time. 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 Everybody's like, I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> I'm done. Come for the Logan, stay for the Lego. Okay, uh, let's see. Whoa. Oh, very nice. This is from, um, uh, oh, oh, good. Okay, I gotta make sure I have something ready here. This. Okay. okay. So, uh, this is from Darren Siegfried, and Darren says, For this week's challenge, I decided to try my hand at building some flowers. The first ones could possibly be found here on Earth. Um, I added some... Oh, what happened? I added some coral <laughs> greebling to the center for added effect. <laughs> it really pops, like the bees are going to um, want that one. Right? The next two pictures of flowers could possibly be found on some alien world, perhaps. Well, first of all, i got to say... The use of chair pieces yeah. is brilliant. So unique. 
Yeah, it's really, it really, really smart. Um, and let's go. Oh, oh hey, check that oh, out, Moto. Oh, 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 I know this. I see, I see blue transparent anything like this, and I'm like, Moto. Um, yeah, this is really, um, really, really lovely. Really like this a lot. And then, oh, now that one, that one's like this, like you don't want to get alien. too close to that. I know, I'm scared of that one. Because it would go like this, like, and like, and like, get your face when you lean in to smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Face hugging violence. What is it? Kind of, because those things always, those little leg pieces always make me think of of the the xenomorph in yeah. the in the face hugger form, right? And um, you know, putting it on on neutral backgrounds like this helps it so much. It really stands out. Yeah, I really, uh, and I love those. I love those particular blue uh, transparent pieces. Now, I believe those um, those little leg pieces are from um, Chima. I'm pretty sure those are Chima. Yeah, I didn't think anyone had a Spider Patronus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spider Patronus. Yay! Wow, my I mom love used this. to keep African violets. Well, I love the I love the shells. Um, okay, so this one is. Um, ma, ma, ma. At least I think it's violets. Sorry, I'm going back, back, back. Um, this is oh the is. This is a flower. Oh, I'm I, I'm corrected. Is this a flower? This is from Debo Bricks. This is so cool. I yeah, love yeah. the purple ba the purple barrel with um with the shells for the petals, and I love the um. So I want I wanted to point out the method used on the leaves here. So it's it's not done with hinges, and it's it's actually plates. Whoa. Like, sort of hinged together, turned sideways, and then bent. That's it, it's really, really, really smart great. smart and inventive way to get those curves. Yeah, I really... Um, and there's a lot of clutch power, so they... Clutch powers. Pardon, pardon me, they would hold. Well, and I and I also, of course, love the, um, the, the stressed brick um, pot. Yeah. Like we did with the with the the base of our yeah, the windmill. Um, windmill that we were talking about the other day. Yeah, and I think the blue background. Oh no, this is David Robinson. Okay, sorry, Dave. I apologize. Um, the your other one was out of order, and I didn't see it here. So my bad. Um, this well, is it, not. It feels like an orchid. It's got that really thin stem. Yeah, not Debo bricks, everybody. Not Debo bricks. This is from David Robinson, and it's an orchid. Sorry about that. Sorry, yeah, and the colors, the colors initially did make me think of the African violets my mom would raise. Yeah, but it's all it's shaped very orchid like. Yeah, so so David uh, David uh, did this one. It was just um, yeah because his things were separated in the list, uh, the pictures. I got confused. Sorry oh, about I that. see. Great job, Dave. As always. Okay, this is Debo Bricks, right? Um, this is. The is this a flower? And now I wanna okay, I need to open up my slideshow for a second. Just to make sure, to make sure that we're sure not confused, that we are right? in the Yeah, I wanna make sure that we're in the right place here. Mm -hmm. um, the cactus flower was David Darren Nope. I'm just checking out all the details. Sorry everybody, you go ahead. You can you can talk about that if you want. I'm just gonna do this for a second. Well, you know, in, in almost every one yes, of these, we're Debo. seeing deliberate asymmetry, like the center of the flower being at one of the one of those third mark points of interest in the composition, I think is really nice. Yeah. You know, it's so much more interesting than if those yellow pieces were centered and the whole flower was centered. It's such a it's such a beautiful uh, such a beautiful mosaic and a great use of color. Like like a very smart and purposeful Use of color. I agree, Minifig Chick. This whole stream is very, very inspiring. Super um, arty, arty. You know, I think the use of the quarter round um, tiles adds a lot of animation to this as it well. It does. The way they're turned different directions for different petals. You know, well, and again, very thoughtful. Like, there yeah. was a lot of thought went into this. So not only time, but, you know, thought. Although it would be crazy hard to do, I could see something like this animated, you know, where you see the flower open. Oh my goodness. It would take forever. Ooh, this is very nice. So this is... Wow, we could have called this the colorful challenge. I know. This is from FabuFan MKE. Um, and um, he says, there's nothing natural about this flower, but I wanted to make <laughs> something pretty and use clickets. That's fine. I mean, you're, it's still... 
It still works. Oh, is that what's in the in the center top part? They're Whoa, clickets. Whoa, I need clickets now. Wow. They're really pretty. This is... And do clickets work with system? I guess they just... Do they fit right into system? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were a... Um, I think they were... If, from what I remember, clickets were sort of a failed pre-dots. It yep. was like a jewelry thing. Um, This is really, really lovely. Yeah, I like the... And I like the yellow background with the lavender leaves, too. Oh, it's just... Oh. It's just really cool. Oh, oh, a totally different shot. This is lovely, um, Fabi fan. Like candy, right? Like you just want to eat that flower. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I well, and I love the purple three leaves, and I have to say, like, I really love the vase as well. Yeah, this is my favorite shot. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's just so so pretty. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the convention show if we had all of the pieces from this challenge on tables together? Yes. It would look so amazing. And that's going to happen one day, y'all. I just want you to know, when there is an in-person convention, we are going to do a Tricky Lug group build where we are going to bring all of our things together and show. it'll be like a, a real-life slideshow. Yes, <laughs> show. <laughs> um, a real-life slideshow? You mean like real life? Oh, that's a, it's a, it's really, yes, exactly. It's really, really nice. Tricky Fest, yes, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, um, who, who, let's see, who is this from? This is from Hooded One. No, this is from Femme from the Block. Um, so this is, um, from Femme from the Block, and Yano says, sadly, I won't be watching the stream live, but looking forward to watching it later. Hi. Hi, I want you to see it. Um, I decided to play with with fauna as flora, a tree with snake vines and a rat and puppy tumble rock formation. Oh, all those. It's funny. At first, I thought they were just seaweeds, but there's a ton of seaweed, plural. Um, but there's a ton, there's of, a ton of snakes, snakes in, there. in there too. Yeah. Oh, Flynn was on me. He was. I, I came. I came up with several ideas. I was like, well, what if I put just one animal in it what if i just <laughs> do a venus fly trap with like a fly and, and I'm like, like no, no animals no this is great um it feels a little scooby-doo like i feel like i feel like we're going to some kind of spooky bayou well hanging the hanging those seaweeds upside down was something that we did on our very very first tree mock i mean it's that true. was like i had seen that on done before and i was so fascinated. dumbledore and gandalf's walk together Yes. Well, I, and I love the tumble that, that um, she was talking about. The um, Yeah, it says, I decided to play... Oh, yeah. The animals all came from Minifig Chicks prize package I won during the 100th Tricky Bricks episode. <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of this build. It's really great. I love it. It's a lovely tree. It's a lovely feeling. I love that you use the snakes. Um, and the snakes are stuck Yay, into... Yano's here! Hi! Hey, Yano. <laughs> the snakes are actually stuck into branch, in, into the yeah, holes the tails, in, in leaf the, branches. Yeah, the tails right? can fit in, which is nice. Snakes on a tree is the next Samuel L. Jackson movie. <laughs> I'm tired of all... Oh, no, I can't say that. All right. Um... <laughs> and, uh, of course, the lighting is lovely, too. And that, that sort of... Uh, just the gentle shadows on the background there really nice really lovely all right i know but aubrey exactly <laughs> i can't stand all these beeping snakes on this beeping tree there <laughs> let me, let me get, a, get a bleep button <laughs> all right oh look oh, and there cool. we get to see the little tumble and do i see a rat yeah, I see. I see rats as, as texture. Yep, rats and puppies as texture. Really great. Oh, are those puppies with the holes in their head for a? Hey, for your dad. Of course, your dad shows up right when I'm like beep cursing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. I'm sure he would have no idea what you're talking. About. I know. Oh, this is lovely. Um, oh, those little feather pieces are so awesome. So this is from the Griebling Wizard. Yay, Griebling Wizard. This says, this is nature made of plastic. A tree has fallen in the woods and is slowly being consumed by the surrounding vegetation. Ooh, I think I've walked in those woods. Well, I 
I love the I love again the per, the um the depth of field in the photo is lovely. Yeah, shallow depth of field with that out of focus in the background. I love the sort of painting with studs on that vertical surface in the background. Yeah, it's really it's really really nice. Great, yeah. Oh. See, again, just some smooth and some studs. So nice. Well, I also just, they're really pretty photos. Yeah. Like, they're just really, it's really lovely. And it really does make me think of that, um, of walking in the woods and seeing trees like that that fall over and get covered. Oh, oh and now we see all oh. of it. And, of course, the lighting is nice because you used broken up sunlight. Oh, How man. nice, naturally broken up sunlight. Well, and I, I, you know, they did a great, to the great shape on the log great vegetation and it's very um it seems very organic right well, like it's a very natural yeah like that part in the front it reminds me of walking through the redwood forest and part of it is just sort of collapsed you know like part of it is newer and part of it is just turning into you know the forest floor yeah this is um yeah, Remy Baker has so much detail in these. Um, I like the bar offset on the clip. Yes. Yeah. You could see it in the um, there. That, that yep. just little, little perfect thing. Just carefully placed there. Really, really fantastic. Hey, look at that! We got fifty-six people watching. That's awesome. awesome. Hey, Hi, everyone. I'm gonna take this moment. If you're if you're watching, to please say click that like button just right under the video. Click that thumb with the up, not the down one, the up one, hopefully, <laughs> and and, uh, and like the stream because it super helps us out. We really appreciate that. And uh, and if you're new, think about subscribing because when we hit two thousand, oh, well, I just saw we hit nineteen thirty subscribers. Yay! How exciting! Um, when we hit two thousand subscribers, we're going to be giving away. The, the monkey kid, the monkey kid, monkey, monkey king, king warrior, warrior mech. mech set. So very, very exciting. We'll finally learn how to say it, and then we'll give it away. And Alyssa's here. Hi, Alyssa. Hey, How's Alyssa. it going? All right. Let's see. Uh, what's, I'm, I'm just, I'm in love with this. This really, and Christopher yeah. was saying it made him think about hiking in California, and it you makes just me think that. No, walking through that part of the forest, it smells great. Like all that oxygen and ferns all over the place. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna guess. I'm going to guess. I'm just going to venture guess. I'm not going to look at the paper. I bet this is from Hooded One. This has the handprints of Hooded One all oh, over it. This is just really It's beautiful. Hooded One. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It makes me think of, of Le Tonger Absurd. Um, yeah. And, and also Man Ray, the photographs, the, the photograms of Man Ray. Yeah, this is just beautiful beautiful and i love the use of parts although it's hard to tell exactly what the parts are because like yeah. i see macaroni i see well, are some... these but these aren't balloon parts i think these right? are the troll the balloon parts oh that's why it's rounder i i just it's as beautiful this is like I, this is like art with a capital a art oh. <laughs> this is like this is like framed in a photo on the wall like this is great wow mini fig chick um pointed out the name of an artist i haven't heard of before what's that i could see this as a billboard or like the entire side of a building like really huge or a giant wall at the moma yay cowboy cornado is here hey, hey cornado um so yeah this is um i i just think this is gorgeous you know what really makes it for me is that soft lighting like in a car commercial you see just these delicate highlights going around the petals there's a thin just razor thin blade of white reflection on that leaf yeah. sort of vertically and it makes all the difference it's not an utter silhouette we've got these reflections on the abs that just really make it for me this is really just really and those, really lovely those three holes too what are even oh we're looking at the bottoms of a plate Oh, is this Ikao uh, Namako? I know who you're talking about. He's the guy that does everything in black bricks, and he does, like, figures of people with, like, flowing hair. He's incredible. Oh, I'll like, have to look his stuff Absolutely incredible. Up. Yeah, really great. All right. Nice work. Why on earth? Oh. Let me see. Uh, Media. Yeah, sorry. No, somebody was calling me, and I... Uh, Mapplethorpe Flowers. Ah, uh, see, now I have to look back at Mapplethorpe. All right. So this is from John Luttrell. 
Um, he says, I had Flynn in mind in this with this creation. Having lived Oops. in Florida, you know this time of year, grass is dull green to brownish. That's the base plate. <laughs> but this area never really gets that cold, so flowers grow pretty much year-round. The scene represents winter in Florida. Flowers and some of the hardier veggies can grow this time of year. Palm trees are always around. And the ground cover represents the sparse grass this time of year and some of the weeds we get now. The heart stone is a DIY craft from Michaels. Thanks for letting me try. Absolutely, John. Always love seeing what you come up with. This is this is this is absolutely winter in Florida. One hundred percent. It's another really personal piece, right? Like stuff you don't get from photos. You got to walk around there and see it. Exactly. Exactly. I need to. And I need to real quick um, pop aside, but I'm, I will move to the next picture and then we can you can talk about it while uh while i do this okay whoa wow well, you... this is christopher coster and it looks like you will have all sorts of things to talk about well I'll be right christopher back. Cro uh, christopher coster the texture combination <laughs> i know right um the texture combinations in this are so lovely and i can't tell is this if you want to say in the chat is this a render or did you build this the the lighting is so soft it's tough to tell um but the thing I'm really drawn to right now is is the depth in the waterfall. The fact you've got this sort of um, fan of rock sticking out behind the waterfall that just gives it this super 3D quality. I feel like you're thinking so 3D in this. And I just want to get down there in a kayak and paddle into that cave. Well, the wa the 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 um the water is lovely. I can hear the sound of the drip dripping water off the roofs and into the water. Uh, is this do you think this is a render? It is a render. Yes, he still doesn't have his bricks. Um but it's just it's super beautiful. And that's just a great treatment on the water. I haven't seen plates used sideways to create those angles. This is really just, oh. um, I think it's masterful work with, with angles and modeling. So um, he says, uh, yeah, naughty by nature, this is called. I was fascinated by an image of a vine stalk <clears throat> that was in the ceiling of a cave for a winery interior. and wanted to recreate that idea in Lego. I started with the rock cave first and then built a twisted piece of knotted root ball and hung it from the ceiling um, of the cave. And from there, I decided to go with the tree above, inspired by visiting Hobbiton in New Zealand two years ago. Oh, oh. I'm so jealous. I want to go to... Well, I want to go to New Zealand. I know, right? They don't have COVID there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm right 100% there. Um, well, there's so much amazing landscape in New Zealand. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really, really low. Rob Kitcher says, I'm guessing there's a door that leads 33 years in the past in that cave. <laughs> <laughs> Likely. Lovely, Christopher. So beautiful. This is awesome. This is from Legador. Wow, this is major landscape. Is this from Arches National Monument? I grew up um, in Salt Lake City, Utah, and went camping in the southern Utah desert almost every year with my family. Nature has always inspired me, and I wanted to build something that reminded me of home, so I chose the state icon, the Delicate Arch. I included a reference photo just in case. Really beautiful and a great use of parts yeah the inverse slopes the i like the holes in the rocks the use of that sideways arch piece is really smart i don't know if that it looks like it's on a hinge right yeah it's really it, it, it oh and there's the real Yay. thing wow you really nailed the shape yeah good job uh, i mean um, like this side it's uh, just the use of pieces to create shapes and not mm -hmm. necessarily using the shapes for what they're meant for i think is brilliant like it's just so good and the greebling on this is top notch it's this is one of those where if you squint it could be the real thing right i mean the background's different but all those details go away i i think the 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 textural pardon me the textural abstraction textural in this is really nice yeah it's it's really really beautiful nice job um nice job yeah and the color palette too you know it's it's funny like i mean it's just a um it's a mimic of the real thing but mm -hmm. cars land in disneyland the oh best, yeah they've the got the best great. thing about cars land is the landscape they did there and it was copied right from this kind of landscape it's pretty amazing all right this is from monica berry yay um epic 
It says, can you find all three burps? Can you find all three burps? I found one this morning. I... Let's see. Can we? I don't know if wow. I, I don't see one I yet. I love the waterfall is beautiful and the texture the texturizing of yeah. the of the landscape on either side of it is beautiful. It's got um it's very very organic. Right? It's just it's got a wonderful organic feel to it. Yeah, the rocks the rocks on the right are just like just straight out of the way I see making rocks there all the way down to doing like a final wash of cheese slopes <gasps> oh i, I tell you i'm not seeing the burps mushrooms. you've you've disguised your burps really i know well. you've disguised your burps i don't see burps for anyone who doesn't know big ugly rock pieces, big, ugly rock pieces. i can imagine that they're underneath the larger structures of of rock there but i don't see them wow i don't see them Monica. i want to go to these places i know can i live here please Oops. Really, really beautiful, Monica. Yeah, and did you use, is it all gray underneath those white translucent bricks? It looks like you put white plates under there, or or trans blue, that's, or not, let me just, I'm going to take a step back here. You all right take, there? take a breath. All right. Huh. It looks like you used medium azure plates underneath some of the water there to really pop it up. It's just, well, and, and again, a great waterfall. Yep, reference. ice cream cones really lovely i don't see i'm like you really disguised your burps not well at all. because I think they're I, all covered up. i don't s immediately don't jump out at me yeah and then that sort of dusting of of pale blue flowers is really nice too yeah it's just really like a lovely lovely color combination and piece combination all right this is from ms slow brickta um, I could have just thrown some leaf elements on last week's challenge, but most of the builds, parts of that build are back in their bins. Um, so I present to you all flora, no fauna, fauna, and no merry weather either. This is my Disney reference. <laughs> <laughs> As we walk through the lush green of the valley, what do we see through the leaves? A babbling stream that feeds the flora of the valley. Oh, I lovely. love these combo photos, um, too. Aside from the rustling of the falling water of the adjacent waterfall, there's an eerie silence. Where are all the animals? The insects. Well, they're not allowed in this challenge. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there you go. They're on coffee break. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> wow, the, the lime green underneath all the darker and medium green, it really, um, it gives this great background detail. Yeah. And adds so much... Um, uh, shape to it i think yeah it's really um it, it's really lovely and then is that cellophane paper being it, part of the water in the it background it looks like it looks like it yeah oh Ooh, look that at that top shot the top is shot is amazing and i gotta say like ms slow brickta has really taken to the organic um builds like the uh, like all of her builds have this wonderfully organic feeling to them and this one is no different well, I think really the different great. colors of tiles in that water really add so much action to it. And Rob Ketcher said, yeah, I love the dense foliage. Like that is one of my mm -hmm. um the like one of my favorite things in Lego is when people really pile on the foliage like that. I think it's just so gorgeous. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Slobrickta. Oh, oh another nice lovely how often when you think nature, plants, water, <laughs> plants, water, waterfall. Um, this is from Osorg. This week I wanted to try my hand at a waterfall. I hope you all like it. And I we do. do. I like that it's a twin waterfall. When I'm um, when I'm molding landscape in um, in Minecraft, I like to make twin or multiple waterfalls. Well, I, yeah, and I did the same thing with my Animal Crossing town. I made like a whole area that was just multiple waterfalls of different sizes and things. I like how the water's diverting around the rocks too. Yeah, it's it's just really really beautiful. Yay, also are nice, and I love the depth, the water depth uh, from underneath is interesting as well. There's also some very fragile um, olive green branch work on the left there. Yeah, I, right, delicate work. So uh, also, I'm curious: is this a render or is this a straight? Is this a straight build? Because your lighting, I have to say, is pretty awesome. I th actually, I think it is real because the shadow here is I think giving, it's me, real. Uh, giving me the real vibes. I don't I know that wrong. Studio would let you... Sorry, It's a render. Okay. Really? All right. I, I just, didn't know I Studio... Thought, I thought maybe. 
I didn't know Studio would let you even make those connections. Oh, that, sure. That you just have to be lap. really careful. Um, awesome. All right. Oh, How fun. this is wonderful. This is wonderful. So this is from uh, P.T. McEwen. Wildflowers, this is called. What a fantastic... This is like a great example of nice, nice parts usage. All you right? know my favorite flower? I'll give you a guess as to my favorite flower and why. Uh, is it the ice cream one? The dandelion puff? Well, I love that. Uh, the one that's getting me right now is the one with the striped stem, and it's making me think of, um, of, uh, Beetlejuice. Yes, Beetlejuice. And it's got <laughs> bananas. Yeah. Right? And, um, well, that dandelion puff is cool, and I know how hard it is to stack those ice creams, too. It, Brickworms is very, very Seussian. It is. Yeah. It is. It's got a, it does have kind of a, a Dr. A Seuss vibe. An insouciant Seussianism. I don't really even, I'm not exactly sure what insouciant means, so I shouldn't use it. Um, this is, I think this is a really wonderful piece, and I love the, uh, the sort of, We've got like the kind of leaning over flowers, mm -hmm. some straight up. Um, it's just really, it's it's really beautiful. What are oh, those... let's not overlook the sausages, says Mini Fig Chick. It's true. <laughs> Don't ever overlook the sausages. What are those blue rings? The medium azure I've rings. I've been wondering about that. What is the? What are those blue? The blue, the center of the blue because I know it's a splat gear, but then I don't necessarily recognize those blue mm -hmm. rings because those are really really cool. Yeah, it's great use on that too. Yeah, lovely. All right. Oh, micro build, eensy beensy. Watch out for the sharks. I know. So this is from um, from Patrick Wismer. Is this from Patrick Wismer? I'm just gonna scroll down here and make sure that I've got this. Um... Yeah, so P.T. McCune gave us the flowers, and then this is, uh, yeah, Tropical Getaway. I set out to build a winter forest scene and quickly scrapped it as I have had my fill of snow this week. So here is the opposite. I love this micro build. That, the, using the little sprouts as palm trees is yeah. brilliant. The rocks are gray, the dirt. Um, I'm a little confused. Is this a standard 16 by 16 blue base plate or is there pattern printed on it? Because when I look at that shore in front of the yellow, that looks like almost like there's an ombre. Yeah, there. it looks like one of those colored, like one of those base plates that's got the pre colors on it already. It's from See, Pirates. That's what oh, I thought. Oh, yeah. Yep. Really, really, really great. Yeah, and I, I'm wondering it, what the seed part was here. Is it Was it the shark fins? I know, was that's, it the palm trees? I was going to say, the shark fins are pretty genius. <laughs> like, just the little, like the little quarter round tile turned on is so good. And so much better with three of them. It's again, like people just get balanced asymmetry tree right like yeah. the composition in this piece is really lovely it is it is oh it looks great from the top too i'm just i'm in love with the um i'm in love with the sprouts as trees like i'm just yep. now i have all of these things in my head mm -hmm. i want to do micro builds Tiny. using this really cool I, gosh i love micro builds oh Aww. this is so cute so this is called um from rob Ketcherside swinging tree i love it it's simple and tells a story and I want to go I want to go be there. I want to go there. I want to swing on that swing with Logan running back and forth trying to catch me. <laughs> right? What a fun summer day. Oh, Patrick says he modeled his his out of af, after the Galapagos, which I totally can oh, see that. Oh, cool. Um but I love this um it's very clean and I love the kind of Minecrafty top to it which doesn't I don't know, just the way it's constructed and because of the way the base is done, it kind of doesn't look as Minecrafty that way, right? Um, it's it's a nice combo. I really, really love it. And I love the the swing is adorable. Well, and you know, we're so used to seeing abstracts, the or abstracts, mm -hmm. however you accent that. Um, those abstracts. Those one-by-one one, uh, lime green cubes there are just little plastic cubes of bricks, but yep. how nice they are as highlights in the leaves. It's lovely. And Rob said he had a problem keeping the string straight, so I used TransClear below. I wondered about that. I was wondering I thought. what it was. <laughs> a little gravity help. Oh, a geode. This is from WGJL Builds. 
Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, this is um, from the Hornburgers. This is the famous Miami Heat geode, named for its Miami Heat color scheme. <laughs> and then there's the relaxing smell of lavender. <laughs> So this, this is so fun. We I used to, love the when geode. When I was a kid, we used to collect rocks, and my parents had a big rock saw, and they would cut geodes, and we got to see what was inside. So this one was Andrew's idea. I love it, and I love it with the actual real rocks yep. um, like put in. I think it's wonderful. I want a geode with all those colors in it. I know. I do, too. I it's want almost that. like it's filled with tourmaline or something. Oh, it's, it's Andrew's rock collection. Very cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Look, there's there's <gasps> fossils. And did you guys see this week? Maybe it was. I think it was this week about the geode that they cut in half and it looked like Cookie Monster inside. Oh, it looks just it's like Cookie so Monster. It's so awesome. And I actually started following Cookie Monster on Twitter. I didn't know he had a Twitter account. And it said it like he and he talks the right way on Twitter. Really? He says me thinks this looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Old school was Cookie awesome. Monster. It was good. Yeah, but he tweeted about it, which is hilarious. Um, uh, Aubrey Kovacs, be right back searching for Cookie Monster Geode. It's pretty it's, <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. All right. And then this is the lavender. Oh, wow. beautiful. That's such a fun multimedia piece. Isn't it multi, uh, 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 mini fig chick? She does lots of multimedia. Yeah, mixed media, yeah. Mixed media. Really, really nice. Oh. The colors are so pretty. Yeah, I, well, and again, I love the, like, just like the geode, like you were saying, like the mixture of, like, real life things and Lego things together is really... And it's really hard to it. do, right, because Lego is so square and plastic, but this really just They blend in, right? Perfectly. It's just, it's really, yeah, it's lovely. Oh. And on the lime green stems... Oh, yep. stressed construction lime green stems. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I knew somebody would find. I knew that uh, Mini Pig Chick <laughs> would find the, the, the thing. All right. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It looks just like Cookie Monster. Like exactly like Cookie Monster. Um, so let me see if I can. Will this? Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you know? No. No, don't leave YouTube. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to it's do okay. that. It's okay. People can look it yeah, up. Yeah, you look it up. So this is um, from WGJO Builds. I decided to make a basic house plant that has a flower growing off of it. I also added the inside-out tire, as you said last Friday. Oh, that's look a great that. use. Um, I put a stone in there for decoration. I hope you like the lighting. I put it under one of those planters that has the very bright light attached and turned it on. Really great. I think the lighting is nicely done and really adds so much contrast and mood to this piece. Those highlights and shadows. And the light comes from above and behind, which is just a great place to put it. Yeah, and I love the I love that you use the tire. I love the sh I love the shape of the plant. I think it's yeah, really great. I, again, balanced asymmetry, right? Yeah. Like this is super asymmetrical, but it doesn't feel off kilter. It just works. And is that a troll's flower? Uh, I think so. And I gotta say, I'm impressed that it stands on its own, given, like, because that given weight that would it's... be really easy to, to imbalance, right? I wonder how many times it fell over. Well, because that's not a base plate. Oh, there's no, a barrel! It's the, you know what that is? That's the flower from the CMF. That's the flower from oh. the from the minifig. Yeah, very so, cool. I think I see a barrel with studs in the bottom inside of the wheel, and that's how it can hold itself upright. Very good. But even still, I mean, even still with the barrel, that like having those are heavy things. That yeah. little flower thing is heavy in comparison. So carefully chosen pieces. Very nice. Oh, nice other view. Oh, this is sweet. Um, and it has a lamp post. <laughs> um, so this uh, this is from Wilfred, and Wilfred says, "Lockdown and all, a crack in the sidewalk is nature to the city boy." Me. Oh, look! It all came out of a crack in the sidewalk. I love it, and I'm not. We're not going to ding you for having real uh, non-nature things in here because I because well, first of all, lamp post, <laughs> <laughs> and also I just think it's a it's a wonderful it's a wonderful take on it, and there is no there is no fauna, so yep. 
Is that a pre-made Lego bench, like from Fabuland or something? I don't think so. Or maybe. Because I don't oh, recognize yeah, it looks like a that, Fabuland bench. that one by six piece doesn't exist with studs mm, with open holes. like that. I love this, and I love the Duplo flower, of course. It's a great idea and a great take on the on the on the uh, thing. Listen Lovely. to me being confident. That piece doesn't exist. <laughs> Oh, here it is. So this is, uh, oh yeah, it says right here, to Lego geeks out there, Fabuland bench, Duplo base and flower, sideways Lego system build, mostly Technic, Richard Lampost. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is from Xander Cunningham, and it says, there are only plants in the jungle, right? So there is a, it's like a, There's like a, a monster like a plant. lion eating plant. It's really a lion eating plant. Yeah, for all those lions in the <laughs> Well, I, okay, so I gotta say, oh, and it's got a whole base and everything. I love the greebling on this. I love the colors. I love the eyeballs. Um, again, like pushing the limits of the challenge. Like, well, it is a, technically, it's, it's a plant. It is a plant. So there you go. It, I'm <laughs> feeling like this plant is not a vegetarian. Um, yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, it's, it's, well, and of course, well, it makes me think of Creep Show when Stephen King turns into a giant plant monster. Right, he's but got, that's like, a whole other thing, thing. All the fuzzy things all over him. Feed me. Very nice. Like I Aud love it. Audrey 3. Audrey 3. Oh, very nice. This is light and cheerful. Oh, and not surprising, this is from Lana Zaccardi. Uh, Lana did a forest with a mountain cave in the back. She just got an elves mini doll last weekend and plans to turn the cave into an elf house. Oh, how well, fun! Nice use of lerps, Lana. The the they call them little ugly rock pieces, but they're not ugly here at all. No, it looks it's beautiful. I love the multi colors in the base. I love the the um, the medium azure flowers there, and the the use of the different sizes of flowers. Two two it's things great. are really. Um, Two things I love in this that I think are pretty sophisticated are the um, the stepping of the flowers on the lower left, yeah. all those various levels and use of color, and then the lined up kind of fern fronds on the right are a very pretty pattern. Yeah, it's really, um, it, it's just all around really beautiful. Nice work, Lana. And anytime Thank you. you get to use those medium azure giant flowers, it's a know, good day. I love those. And the and the the old trees, which I love. Yep. Oh, very nice. Well, this, this is seems from like Rob. it's from the same planet. Yeah, this is from Rob Zaccardi. Rob did a South American jungle with a waterfall. This is... I love the, all the waterfalls. This I know, week. different ways to express waterfalls. Well, I not only do I just love this, period. Um, I love how much you have gotten into a small space. It is so effective. And I also yeah. like how you have... Even though you have like kind of like a riot of flower colors on the left on the lower right i really appreciate the sameness of all of those little sprouts like the same colorness well this like, feels so natural to me like those just sprouted from one little flower and then now, now there's a whole little field of that of that plant there yeah it's really it's it's really really lovely i love it and i love the mix of colors and i keep this one together rob if you yeah. can spare the pieces because this is really um it's just a great little piece to like just sit and have on your shelf. I just, I think it's lovely. Well, one of my favorite sizes, no secret for for little mocks, is mm -hmm. sixteen by sixteen yeah. because you can put in so much detail. And I think the use of vertical space in this is really really nice. Oh, and there's another shot of it. Fun. And again, look, there's there's a light high and from behind on this. Given gives you little shadows like underneath the the olive green sprouts and yeah really nice nice right. contrast oh and this is from vanessa zaccardi vanessa did two by four brick flowers in various colors i Yay. love it it's so cheerful and um and just so cheerful and colorful yeah. like it makes me smile to look at it and i love the um the use of just basic bricks Yep, like it's and it's it's perfect. It's exactly perfect. Well, I think having a yellow center on most of the flowers there really unifies all those different colors. Right, it kind of bring it like brings it all kind of brings it all together. And then there's a reversal in the yellow and white flowers front and back. Yeah, it's great. Good work. Very and, nice. And look, there's um, there's even there's inverse slopes in the leaves on the flower stems. 
That's cool. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very nice. Remy Baker says, I would play this video game. I, I would, would too. too. <laughs> I would run around. I want to be all 8 bit. Thank you, Vanessa. All right. Well, I think that uh, that's everyone. Well, well ex except for one. one. Except for one, mine, which is which is the next one up. So okay. I need to step away just for a second. And okay. I will be right back. Actually, while I'm away, I'm, no, I'm not going to refill coffee. That's a huge cup. I'll be right back. So, th so this one, no, here's. No, no, no. Well, okay, I already saw that. <laughs> Uh, so here's mine. Um, I really wanted to use these balloon pieces as a flower, and I actually thought a little while that it was going to be on a stem. And then I was I, I had sat it down to work on it, and then I was like, you know what? Actually, this is looks really cool as like a sitting flower instead. Um, and then I decided to go. So I went ahead, and I think I spent probably more time tiling the, the base plates that I spent like making the flower <laughs> um and I uh because I really wanted to like if you can see like around the lily pad there's like clear ones and then I had like little lines with clear and dark blue just to give it some and I think what it is is I really have been you know we were what we were talking about earlier um I've really been wanting, um, like, some serenity and some, like, just chillness. And mm -hmm. this really did that um, for me. So. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you did in the water? I did. I was just oh, talking okay. about that. Because yeah. it didn't start out like that, right? No, it didn't start out like that. I started out, I was like, either I was going to do little like ripples because i wanted it to be very calm right i was either going to do ripples or i was going to do like clear and then light blue and then dark blue like a um, concentric ombre or something yeah wow i want that and to be that my new band concentric, concentric ombre. ombre it didn't really work out and then i ended up combining the rings and the and the stripes together well so. to me it feels like there's just this tiniest little gentle breeze like barely enough to blow away a dandelion on the water right <laughs> and you had to you had actually a lot of it took a long time to finish out the tips of those petals right oh man i went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because there's a little clip there and it was really hard to find something that still gave the flow and didn't look too chunky. Or scary. Yeah. Right? We, right you tried teeth. Yeah, I tried antlers. everything. I tried everything. It was, uh, but this is how it, uh, this is kind of how it came out in the end. But. And it, it reminds me, when you, when you had it on a stem before it was on the pond, mm -hmm. we, we talked about it being like that plant in Star Trek that, like, Yeah, it kind of looks like the it, star, and it shoots out glitter at you. <laughs> So there you go. Well, fun. I like that challenge. This was that one was of a our lot of more fun. Colorful challenges. It was extremely colorful. So gosh, everybody, thank you so much. What wonderful, as always, what like wonderful and incredible things everybody built. Like these, this was um, just, just stunning. Like just gorgeous. Oh, look at the um, nice thing Moto said. Oh, don't be jealous, Moto. I always know Very... I've made a good mock though. If if if. Uh, if Moto says he's jealous of it, I'm like, okay, I've reached the goal. Um, and and I think was it Brickworm who said Zen Pond? That makes me um, Zen it, Pond. So, absolutely. You know, that's exactly what I thought. So, um, oh, straight right, right up. Yeah. Oh, so, um, really great job, everybody. And now it's time to announce the new challenge, and it's the one that we've been waiting for for a while because we were like. Is it going to be in 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 or out or not or what? And we kind of yep. gave you the warning last week that it was your sort of last chance. Um, but we are officially now doing our Mandalorian and Child Brickheads brick rebrick build. All right. The, so what does that um, mean? What that means is you are going to um, you hopefully already have it your uh, Mandalorian and Child Brickheads set. And you're going to build something that's not a brick heads, but anything else out of the brick only out of the bricks in that particular set. So no okay. extra bricks, only yep. those bricks. Only All those right? bricks, including like no base plates, no nothing. Just what comes out of the box. Yep. And if you want extra points, although you don't have to do this, but if you're this kind of person, use every brick. 
Yeah, wait, oh, wait, that's the extra challenge? That's extra, yeah, that's the, extra points. The extra points if you can use every brick in the set. All right, but don't feel like your piece is less than if you have pieces left over. Right? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just it was sort of like the thing with the real world object challenge. It was like make a thing extra points if it's in scale. Right? Yep. Like it was just sort of a uh, sort sort of one of those things. Yep. Um, well, that'll be fun. We have ours. Yeah. Or do we have one? We have one, right? Oh, we uh, yeah, we have one to share. Okay. Um, so two things that you can do. If you have, for some reason, haven't gotten it or weren't able to get it, I know it's still available. I think you can walk into Target and buy it. And I think, and I know it's still available from Lego, although they take a little bit longer to ship. I'm sure they still have it on Amazon. Anyway, um, the um, I would say no base plate and let's say no figs. I don't want it to be all about the figure that you put in it. Like, let's see what you can make out of this set. What do you think about that? Um, yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yes, about not using mini yeah. figs this time. Yeah. Well, it's tough when we're reading the when we're reading the chat. It's easy to miss stuff. Yeah. As put it this way, as long as the brick comes in the in the box, you can use it. It doesn't matter what the brick is. I just we just mean like no extra base plates. No extra, no, not no extra minifigs. Just the bricks that are in the thing. We're because last time we did a rebrick, we allowed, um, we allowed minifigs and that. And I want to make it an extra challenge this time. Only the things that are in the box. All right. Yep. Yeah, I am. Um, suddenly the builds use clear plastic I was bags. Wondering, I, was, <laughs> I was wondering how many different ways people are going to use the box. <laughs> Um, oh, Jamie Bricker says, super, if there's a clicky, you can use it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, well, um, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. What a wonderful, um, this just, this slideshow has left me so cheerful and inspired. Inspired, right? Um, yeah, really, just really, really great. And looking forward to seeing what you're doing so if for some reason i didn't finish this thought but if you weren't able to get the mandalorian and child it is still available but you could always download the parts list and perhaps you have the parts yourself although you won't get those great custom printed parts no the but other you can option, build it out of your own bricks right the other option is you can uh, if you don't have it um, but you have access and the ability to use studio you can actually import that model into studio like the official lego model with all the parts and everything mm -hmm. and use it to build that way if that's uh if that's if that's good for you yeah mini, mini fig chick and um joel joel marbella no parts left behind achievement it's like there's achievements now <laughs> <It's true. laughs> um all right well yeah with the gamification right so thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Um, if you want to find us on the interwebs, you may do so. Instagram, at Tricky Bricks. And if you're not following us already on Instagram, please do. We're closing in on 10K followers. I'm so excited. Um, you can button. email me, Flynn at TrickyBricks.com, or if you have snail mail, Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. So I, um, for now. And everybody's like, everybody's like, achievements, achievements. We need the achievements. I'm all about the achievements. Yeah, um, I had a lot of fun with this show. I just, um, I love what people made. I, I always like the slideshows, but this one was just so yeah uplifting. Right? It really was. It really was. Uh, so thanks, everybody, so much for joining us today. We will be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. with our uh, group chat with Holly, um, Moto, and Kara, and hopefully also maybe Blair. We'll see. He uh, he likes to pop in every once in a while. Au revoir. Um, so until next time, be sure to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, get your flu shot, keep your distance, uh, but not from here, just from people. <laughs> Have a hug, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.